It's not the things that you see, the sins that you see outwardly, that are the dangerous ones. It's the ones you don't see. It's the dark sitting quietly, not even looking at you. Not the barking dog at the end of the chain that you can see is angry. It's the dog that's not chained, just laying there. And you think, it's okay. That's the thing that you don't see that will bite you. There are things in the hearts of people that sit quiet. You don't see it. They greet you, they smile, they hug you. They even tell you how much they love you. But in their heart, they wish you were dead. They wish they had what you got. They're not happy when you prosper. They're not happy when you just got healed and you're celebrating about your healing. They say, how come you getting that and I haven't? They're envious, jealous. They covet your stuff. But they're always around you. And they bring in witchcraft to you. Unforgiveness. Jealousy. I have seen more people die because of the things of the heart. You know, I, I always say this, I, I'd rather you come up and punch me in the face than for you to use words at me. Because a punch in the face, tomorrow we will be okay. But your words, they stick. Hello? Proverbs actually says, words are like a knife. They pierce you when you put it out, it leaves a scar. When you say things, it pierces. That's why you've got to hold your mouth. I mean, this week, these 10 days that lay ahead of you, from today, means it's going to go past this week, Sunday, into the following week. May you use this time of reflection and say, Lord, show me what's not of you in my life. Tuesday coming, we're going to fast as a church. Amen? Mm -hmm. we, we fast on Tuesday. This Tuesday, hold a fast. If you haven't held a fast as yet, start your fast at 6 o'clock in the morning and break at 6 o'clock at night. If you're on medication, have your breakfast in the morning and take your medication. If you're required to take it at night, have a small meal at night, take it at night, fast for the lunch. Hallelujah. If you're diabetic, please do not fast, have a small meal. Hallelujah. God sees your sacrifice. We don't want to have a till you home, amen? No, home, home. Upper home. We want you with us. Hallelujah. So please. But those of us who can, six to six. Amen? Let us fast. Come here on Tuesday. Let us pray. Let us. Lord, help us. There's some stuff that's been worrying you that you haven't been able to kick. In other words, it's a bad habit, it's a sin, it's a problem, it's a thought. I don't know what it is. It's a temptation, it's a sickness. I don't know what it's been nagging you. It's like bubblegum stuck under your shoe. It just doesn't want to go away. Come and fast on Tuesday. Hallelujah. We're going to trust God for a breakthrough. We're going to pray with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.